storm I would like to welcome into the conversation Ken Graham meteorologist with the National Hurricane Se uh, Center so it looks as though we're getting close to landfall right yeah latest information we have the hurricane hunter still out there we have 150 mile per hour winds uh, rain right now we're 85 miles south of, of New Orleans so the center of this storm getting ever so close uh, the coastline so those, those those big winds are on the way it's gonna happen Ken it's this isn't just affecting folks in New Orleans or a particular area of Louisiana. Can you talk a little bit about how large and massive this storm is, especially how strong the winds are, the wind span? Yeah, Rain, it's a great question because, you know, we focus so much on that center sometimes, and, and the reality is that the strongest winds are there around the center, but those hurricane force winds, they stretch well out from the center. And looking at our latest forecast, some of those winds and the hurricane force can stretch out 50 miles out from the center. So it's just so important for everyone watching. It's not just that center point. Think about it as a swath of winds moving along with this storm well away from the center. So places like uh, you may not get the center in New Orleans, but you can still get the hurricane force winds in Orleans Parish, Jefferson Parish, St. Tammany Parish uh, around the metro New Orleans area. So it's a swath of winds. It's not just a center point. Definitely affecting a lot of people in Ken. We've had the pleasure of speaking with you all day yesterday. This is, I believe, our third time catching up with you and getting the latest track, the latest forecast today. So we've talked about preparations ahead of the storm. We've spoken to you as the storm was making its way towards Louisiana. But let's talk about the post storm response. What should people know after Hurricane Ida passes? Well, rain, it's a, it's a weird way to put it, I guess, but it, it's no fun after these storms. It's life-threatening during these storms, and it's life-threatening after these storms. There's no power for significant amounts of time. Uh, there's flooding. There's dangerous flooding. It's dangerous to travel. There's debris and, and power lines. It's so dangerous after the fact. So we have to realize, even if you are able to get through this storm safely, which we're hoping for, everybody should be in their shelter, um, it's no fun afterwards. So you really got to be careful. Use those generators. Um, safely. Rain, there's so many people going to use these generators. Keep them outside, keep them away from your home and out of your garage.